Hey everybody, how you doing today? Buenos uh, dias. Buenos dias, exactly. I am Tyler and I'm here with Tom. Hey, what's up? And we are going to eat at the Garden Grill today. Como estas? They are going to have the new food for the Halloween season. They're doing the Dia de los Muertos type Plaza food. De, Plaza de, de la Familia. I believe that's correct, yeah. Yeah, I, I'll let you do all the Spanish right. speaking. I'm not. I'm done. That's, that's okay. That's it. We've exhausted it. We've exhausted it. But I'm really interested to go and see. There, there you go. There's some more. Too bad we don't have Mary Jo to say guacamole know, once or right? twice. But well, there wasn't, there uh, there wasn't any guacamole. Yeah, there's not any guacamole. So, uh, but there's yeah, like tacos, tamales. Yeah, stuff, stuff like, like that. that. There's so. like a chicken with some like mole verde sauce right. on it, which maybe I'll get. So I'm not sure. Um, yeah. So come and join us. We're gonna go and try it and see what we think. That's pretty cool. Coco. You can still smell the fresh paint, by the way. All right, one of the things over here is the tree of life. The tree of life. You take, you can take a picture in front of it, and then you can put a memory on the wall, I guess, so. All right, there's one activity. There's where you come to celebrate everlasting bonds, and you write it down, you write down a memory of with your family, and you hang it up over here. There's a lot of memories already. And then over here's the Tree of Life, where they're taking pictures in front of it. Looks like they've got a lot of dolls. Skeleton guys. Look at these guys. I mean, way into these guys. And the last thing they have over here is some complimentary face painting. So that's always fun. Good for the kids. Or, you know, the adults alike. Along with the Garden Grill changing its menu, they also have this new little cart out here that's serving a lote and some specialty beverages. Let's check it out. A little fruit cup with some chili lime salt, elote, pineapple agua fresca, little guitar cookies. That's cute. Wow, and then in here, they have kind of this advertisement, I guess, for Coco? I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong, there's an old guitar. That's, that's the old guitar, I assume. Kind of just different scenes from the movie, it seems like. Miguel and Dante's arrival, Ernesto de la Cruz. So yeah, just a little history and a little bit of background on Coco. And then there's also some background on Coco here, and some background on Dia de los Muertos. So here's the menu for the Garden Grill during this Halloween season. It's pretty interesting actually, compared to like the Christmas stuff they do. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna get yet. I'm still thinking about it. They also have a couple desserts and they have an agua de jicama slush. Mexican hot chocolate. That sounds pretty good. Alright guys. So here's the spread of everything we got. It looks pretty good if you ask me. <laughs> Especially this thing. It's like a happy little pinata. Here's the soda design this year. Pretty neat. Tom got steak tacos. First, I gotta get rid of the salad. Wait. You don't like cilantro? I don't like cilantro. You guys. I know. You'll never believe what he just told me. He's, he said he's not sure he's ever tried black beans before. And there's no juice. Oh, there oh there's a little bit. There, there, there it goes. Okay. Yeah. Alright. No, now you gotta get clean. You're yeah. about to eat. You're gonna get dirty again anyway. And you know, normally, typically well, you would like separate the tortillas and have, have two tacos, but these are very, it's very moist, so I think we just leave it as is. Got some pickled vegetables on top. Just okay? Just okay. Yeah. The pickled vegetables help, but there's a little bit of spice to it, which is good. How's the tenderness of the meat? No, the tenderness is good. Okay. Just could use some salt, I think, maybe. Okay. But otherwise, it's really good. Okay, cool. So I got the mole chicken verde. It looks interesting. And by interesting, I mean it looks slightly gross. Um, 
It's got little flower petals on top. Reminds me of cocoa. With golden rice and black beans. So I guess this is supposed to be like a mole and a verde put together. I'm not really sure. First, I'm cutting into it and there's a gigantic bone right off the bat. <laughs> well, chickens have bones, so... I get, what? I understand that, but uh, there were there were there was more bone than I was expecting. But they gave me these tortillas, so uh, they're kind of saying like make a taco, right? So let's put the baby barf on the tortilla with the chicken. The color is just. I'm a little disappointed. Actually, uh, I think it's really bland. Actually. Uh, it doesn't really taste like much of, all, of anything. It ta you can taste like tomatillo. But it's just... Wow, it's like very tasteless, unfortunately. I was really expecting a lot more. I thought the sauce was going to be very flavorful, but it's not. I'm really disappointed. I don't know, it doesn't really taste like much. Let me taste the beans. Okay, the beans are really good actually. They're seasoned well. Rice. The rice is seasoned well too, so for some reason, your tacos were not that good uh, seasoning wise, and mine is under seasoned too, but the beans and rice seem fine. I don't know, that's my verdict so far. All right, Tom's going in for his black bean bite. His first ever and I've bite. Got, and I've got to mix it with the rice, just. Oh, really? Nah. Not a big bean fan, huh? Not like beans, it's just. Oh. It's just, the color is. Underneath, it's a little brown. You eat with your eyes first, yeah. right? I don't know if you can see, but it's like a little bit brown underneath, so it is a little bit slightly off-putting, but yeah. it, they are tasty. Good. Yeah. yeah. What this, what this taco really needs is like some hot sauce and some tapatio or something like that because it just, it just needs more spice and more flavor to it and that would give it more of the... Because like the, the pickled vegetables are good but you need more of the vinegar than the, the, the that and a little bit more heat I think would help this a ton. I feel exactly the same way Tom does. Like, mine has no heat at all, and it, and it has barely any flavor, to be honest. So I think if I just add even like some Tabasco or just any type of hot sauce, then I would be a little happier. All right, so I'm, I'm still hungry, so I'm eating actually eating the rice. But it's like, I don't know if, if all the rice is not cooked or if they were scraping the sides of the pan because it's got little, little crispy nuggets of rice. I think it's undercooked rice, yeah. Uh, it's crunchy. I like texture, but it's 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 not bad. It's just it's clearly undercooked. Yeah. The patient is ready for surgery. <laughs> the last thing here is the pan de muertos with vanilla custard inside and sprinkles and sprinkles. Don't forget about the sprinkles. Go for it. Let's see the cross section. That. Oh. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Is it Too going? Nice. I slice oh, there's the custard. I see it. There we go. Okay. Less custard than I was originally expecting, but but there's definitely custard. You want to taste it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna let me have a little. No, I don't oh. think so. Okay, go for it. That's really good. Is it? Yeah. Right. It's nice and light. Good custard. Except for this sprinkles, sprinkles all over your fingers. Yeah. It's like glitter. It's, I'm going to have this all over my face for the rest of the day. I'm having a hard time. It, my camera likes the Mickeys on your shirt. It looks nice. Good? Yeah. Is it eggy? Eggy? No. All right, here's my piece of the pan de muertos. Hmm, the outside's kind of slimy. <laughs> Way to sell it. I I, uh, I got a lot less. Uh, yeah, we I realized know. that Tom had like the custard I piece. I won the custard contest. So he, I got just a little bite of custard, but the custard was really good. <laughs> The bread is good too, it's like a sweet, 
It's like a sweet brioche. That's why I asked if it was eggy because um, it looks like it's kind of a brioche type of thing. Um, there's a hair on it. <laughs> so, I hope that's mine. I'll still eat it. Uh, it's good though overall. I like it. Uh, it was about uh, six bucks, but I think you can share this with two people. Like, no doubt. It'd be too much for just one. So. Garden Grill at the, uh, what, they, what was it? Fiesta de Familia? Plaza, Plaza. Plaza de Familia. Okay, Plaza de Familia. What did you think overall? I was kind of disappointed. I was a little bit disappointed too. Uh, and I don't know that it, I don't know if we had chosen different entrees it would have gotten any better. Yeah, I don't I, know. I'm, yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, I did try a bite of Tom's steak and I actually thought that his steak was more flavorful than my that's, chicken. That's probably the best choice, but... Yeah, maybe. I am curious to see what they have a vegetarian option that I... That, uh, potato cake. Yeah, a little potato cake, which sounds pretty good, but I just needed some meat right now, so... Uh, and you said, you know, the rice was overcooked, or undercooked, I mean, so... And I agree with you on that, and uh, basically the best tasting part to me was the black beans. Right. You think the same thing? Yeah, yeah. exactly. So there you go. Uh, the uh, the pan de los muertos was also pretty good, um, and then I ended up getting a beer, uh, and you got a large coke, and we got a 15% discount, and it was about $45 altogether. So uh, two entrees, a dessert, a beer, and a large coke, 45 bucks. Ah. I think there's some better places to eat, honestly. Go to um, Rancho de Zocalo, go to... Go yeah, even there. Or something. Yeah, and, the and at least at Rancho de Zocalo you can get, like, unlimited hot sauce. Nice, yes, So, sauce. you know, so at least they'll give you all the hot sauce you want there. Maybe if we would have asked, they would have given us some hot sauce, I don't know. We looked, too, at the uh, different condiment stands and didn't see any kind of hot sauce, ketchup. so... Ketchup. There was just ketchup, ketchup and mustard, so, and, like, Parmesan cheese and... No, not Parmesan cheese, red pepper flakes, so there that you might go. Have that might have helped, but it was red pepper flakes, though, yeah, so, eh, all right. Well, that's going to do it for us today. Uh, thanks for watching. Comment below what you want to see us try next. Maybe you can try the food. Tell us what you think. Um, that's going to do it for us today. Adios. Bye, amigos.